This is what a massive single floor plate 3,240 square feet gets you. 5-bit, 4-bath, massive living and dining with the potential for a 6-bedroom or a dual-key setup. Freehold right in the heart of Core Central District 11 at the asking price of $4.75 million bring the per square foot to be under $1,500 range. Drive Propane Brothers along this beautiful home tour. Let's go! Tantoming Building is one of the first private condo development to be established right in the heart of Core Central District 11, where TOP back in 1976. The architect behind this iconic building was Ong and Ong, which was founded by our ex-president, Mr. Ong Teng Chong. This building stands out in a very striking manner because of this red and white color, and because Tan Tong Ming was conferred the Public Service Star Award, and partially because of its patriotism, this building is being painted in the colors of our national flag, red and white. So you're going to bring out the floor plan just to quickly orientate you. This is on a single level kind of floor plan. It's very hard for us to find a 3,240 square feet in the heart of Core Central District 11. Currently, you have 5 bed, 4 bath, store room, yard area, this massive living and dining. And this floor plan is one of the best floor plan that we can ever find because it's extremely wide layout where you have bedrooms that are tucked towards both sides. This is what we call a dumbbell wide span layout because of the additional space. You can have the flexibility to have the 6 bedroom right behind there or you can also turn this into a potential dual key kind of concept. We're going to share more with you how you can use the dual key concept as one of the mechanisms to help you offset your mortgage while buying to a big floor plate to have a higher potential in terms of a capital gains. If you bring out the map itself, this is in the core central district 11, just right up north, you have the entire Tua Payo estate. That is where all your million dollar HDB is going to be at. Your CHIJ Tua Payo is going to be within 1km of our condo right here. Towards the side of Tua Payo is where you have the Mount Pleasant estate, and that's going to be one of the key master plan growth in this area, along with the MRT station nodes that is happening in and around this area. And as you move down south, that will bring us towards the Novena, and as we get on towards the balcony area, you will then be able to see what is happening happening right over there because that is going to be the health hub of Singapore which also means that potentially there's going to be future rental pool coming from that area and last but not least we are in a very close proximity towards the CBD. I think this is an area where it's going to be very exciting. You're not buying to an area where there isn't any growth. Most importantly, you don't get a floor plan like this very easily. We're going to bring you to the balcony just to show you the kind of space. Right where we are standing at this very beautiful balcony, do you actually have pool view that you do not need to pay for? Right in front of us, there is Topayu Estate. And of course, all the way down towards that side, you can actually see the Novena Health Hub, which is just right within a close proximity. And Balestier Road is just right on our side. So we are not too close towards the main road. You don't get too much of the road noise, but at the same time, we remain very accessible to the main keynotes that we are talking about. So I would say this is a very nice place to be in. This will be the living hall. The living hall makes this massive sofa look a bit small. More. You can easily fit in, I think, 8 packs, 10 packs seated so far. This is where your bulk of your family time will be at. You can have like a projector, you can go up to 100 inch. Space is extremely big. Your dining is located just right beside. This is the current setup. We're going to walk you through towards the other side. Right behind me is where you can use this as your the six bedroom. All you need to do is just cover this area up. Wardrobe space have already been done and you still have ample space for you to put in your queen size, your king size with a study table that is tucked towards there. And I would say even after you carve out this space as a six bedroom, this is a huge and massive space for your living as well as your dining. Lightings, fans, air cons have all been done. So essentially what you need to do is just erect a panel right over here and you got your six bedroom done and dusted. Coming back to the lobby area, on each level, you only have two units. One is ours and one is on the other side with another neighbor. So I would say this is a very low density development. We're going to walk towards here first. This is where you have few empty nooks and corners where you have more storage cabinets right along this side. The flexibility is great. Everything is squarish in terms of the overall layout. If you want to have a round table, a longer dining table, you can easily expand to 2 or even 2.5 meters. Have a massive dining table over here. This also creates a different space in terms of your dining as well as your living hall. We're going to show you the kitchen first. 
this kitchen is extremely bright so you have windows that overlook towards there right on that side you can see the entire Mount Pleasant that is taking shape so this is some of the master plan of course you have some construction ongoing but once the township has been redeveloped I think this is going to be a very beautiful place right over here I think you can see towards Bukitima Hill from this area you get a very nice vantage point from this level on three burner cooker hood and hop is already done just to give you some context owners spent close to about $350,000 guts renovated the whole place so I would say this is really moving condition with the exception of maybe adding a splash of paint to your own liking but otherwise everything is kept in a very good and tip top condition cabinets has been done at the top and bottom plenty of storage space huge ventilation window that is facing towards cube 8 dual sink concept plenty of countertop space again cabinets at the top as well as the bottom in this house storage space is the least of your concern because you have storage cabinets over here this leads us towards the yard area this yard is extremely big because you will then have full storeroom right behind us you hardly get this kind of space for your laundry as well as your yard area towards this half of the dumbbell is where you have two big rooms and then of course this is the common bath it is pretty good in terms of the overall space you have a standing shower your mirror as well as your wc with storage cabinets right over here this will be the very first common bedroom you have four panels of wardrobe floor to ceiling this is facing towards us every nook and corner in terms of the storage space have all been very well utilized this is currently fitted with a single you can easily go to a king size space is the last of your concern And as you move towards the second bedroom, this is a junior master. You can put two queen size, more than enough space, but currently this is screen with four big panels of wardrobe that is towards here, study table. Again, this is fronting towards arts as well as towards an entire Toapayo enclave. And then junior master comes with your very own shower, your storage cabinets at the top and bottom sink as well as a WC. All these are renovated towels, waterproofing, lights have all been done. This is absolutely moving condition. Coming to the third bedroom, this is currently being used as a study area for the entire family. You have a study table right over here, storage cabinets at the top. This makes a very good study area. You can have the walls or the tables extend towards here. Additional storage cabinets right on this portion. Plenty of cabinet space. This room have lots of flexibility. Additional like study table right over at this portion. This also can be the place that is going to be turned into the kitchen because you can then link the drainage pipes towards the bathroom which is right behind us. Scale the wall down, turn this into a yard laundry as well as your kitchen area. If you're not going into like heavy cooking, you can just install an induction cooker hood and hop right over here. And I would say it's either towards here or towards that side with the laundry space. If you want to keep it into a more open concept, check the floor plan to see whether you can knock this wall down, make it into an open concept, have the dining table right over here. So once you create the dual key setup, this will be the divider. And of course, for both of the units itself, you will still get your very own living dining space. You get your very own balcony. It's also nicely separated into two. Whether you want to separate the balcony, I think it's up to you. Depending on which side, you'll get different views. Right over there is towards the north, where you get the Topayo view, which is right across the expressway. On the other side is towards Novena, as well as the Balestier Road. Along Balestier Road, this will lead you all the way towards Twin Heights, where you have the Shaw Plaza that is fully rebuilt just recently. Lots of eateries along the entire Balestier Belt. If you want more food options, you can just head on towards Topayo. Plenty of amenities for your daily groceries need. If today you were to take a look at the pricing in and around this area in the Balestier Novena area, three beta of a decent size of about 1,500 odd square feet. Average asking price is hovering at about $2.7 million. So of course, you'll be thinking, hey, should I be buying into something that's a three beta or should I be buying into something like this where I can carve out the dual key but yet stay in a three beta and use a rental from the dual key concept to offset my monthly mortgage. So this is how the numbers is going to work. For this unit at the asking price of $4.75 million, this also translates to the monthly mortgage about fourteen over thousand dollars. We're gonna put this number aside first. What we're gonna do is look at the entry price of a two point seven million dollars for three beta. This also translates the monthly mortgage to be in the range of about eight thousand over dollars. What this means is you will use the dual key that has already been carved out, renting out the three beta at the rate of about six thousand dollars. If you to put this number side by side, you'll notice that your monthly outlay of about eight thousand over dollars is the same as a three beta two point seven million dollars. But on the other hand, you get to own an asset value of about four point seven five million dollars, which 
which is close to about half, use the $6,000 to offset your monthly mortgage of fourteen over $1,000, bring your monthly obligation to be in the range of $8,000 over dollars. And I would say this is one of the strategies that you can adopt if you want to buy into a bigger asset class, bigger floor plates while ensuring that you have a higher chance of capital appreciation because if you are talking about the same PSF growth for the same area, there's a higher potential in terms of capital appreciation for this larger floor plate compared to a typical 3 bedroom floor plate of about 1,500 odd square feet. So I think the choice is down to you whether you want to have the level of flexibility where you pay the same monthly obligation for a higher quantum right here in this condo development. So in short, at a similar monthly obligation of 8,000 over dollars, you get to increase the additional $2 million in terms of the overall asset value right here in this condo development. The house is so big that we have not gone to the second part of this house. This is currently the entertainment area. This will be the flexi room depending on what you want to do. This can be a six bedroom, this can be the plenty of other rooms that we talked about. Once we come towards here, this is your common bathroom that is being shared by two of the bedrooms. This again has been remodeled, redone, towel, waterproofing, standing shower, WC, American standard. All these are hanging in nature. And then of course, your storage cabinets at the top and bottom with a sink. This fourth bedroom is massive. So you have single, size bed right over here and then this will lead us all the way down towards Novena. So you get a very nice view towards Novena. You get Thompson Medical just right in front. Velocity and the malls are just right ahead. You get a very nice open view that is right in front of us. For this unit, you enjoy lots of privacy. Nothing is really coming close to you. Wardrobe space are just up towards here. If you want, you can have a study table right over at this corner. I think the flexibility is great. And last but not least, you go to the fifth bedroom. <laughs> This is the master, which is massive. You have a very nice 10 to 12 wardrobe space. If you don't need such a big wardrobe space, what you can do is you can turn this into a partial like working desk area, or it can be a lounge area. You can have a sofa, mini sofa, just right over at this position. This is a king size with a huge bed frame with a TV feature on this portion. Windows bring in lots of natural sunlight coming into this unit. The same facing towards the art. Right over here is your shower and your master ensuite. This master ensuite is severely underutilized because they don't really utilize this master bath. Tiles and all has been cut very nice. Even the grouting lines is in tip top condition. Your thinking corner is here, storage cabinets at the top and bottom, and then this will be your shower area. Everything is done in a very nice neutral tone. The last but not least, this house presents you the last option where you want to have multi-gen living thing under one roof because you then have option either to go for something that's smaller in size, you get the typical type of three to four bedrooms, or you can buy into something that's big if you want to have multi-gen living. Of course, in terms of something that's bigger, in terms of overall size, you can go for something that's landed. In terms of the landed prices right over here, you want something that is of a built up, that is similar or bigger. Those are going at an average price point about six over a million dollars. So this presents a huge discount from the six over million dollars in terms of pure landed freehold versus this, which is at about $4.75 million, while you can still achieve the multi-gen living concept, bring up one of the family name to accelerate your property plans. And just to sum it up, I would say for this entire house, this gives you lots of options. You can just buy as it is, use the living and dining as the privacy corner to split both the families, or you can turn this additional space into the six bedroom, or you can turn this into a dual key concept. You can continue to stay here, rent out the other side at six $6,000 using the $8,000 monthly obligation where you can increase your overall asset value by about $2 million or last but not least, you can turn this into a co-living space, convert into six proper bedrooms where you can command easily at about $1,000 to $1,500 on a single unit kind of approach that will give you a minimal rental sum of about $6,000 to $7,000 over $1,000 depending on how the rate goes. Uh, all in, this entire floor plan gives you lots of flexibility for either your own stay, dual key concept, multi-gen living or in terms of co living. And just a final recap, massive size of 3,240 square feet, 5 bed, 4 bath, guts renovated, where our owners pump in about $350,000 in terms of total renovation. In a core central district 11 freehold, right in the growth area where you have lots of rejuvenation, 1km to CHID top oil, within 2km, you have plenty of other schools in around this radius. And if you like what you see, do feel free to get in touch with our listing team. The contact details are down below. Subscribe to our various channels on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. My name is Josh Payne from Pottin Brothers. Always Always happy to show you the place.
I don't know how to change the top. <laughs> One, two, three, four. The fourth bedroom. Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Snapchat. I would say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 